Hi, it's Val Marie. Welcome back to my channel. I am apartment hunting in New York City and I visited an apartment recently that had a lot of potential. It was honestly not in good shape at all. So my idea was, well, I can move into this new apartment and finally do a lot of design, renovate the space, even though it's a rental, because it would be the place I live in. I want the place to be beautiful and I can, you know, get my hands on bigger projects in terms of design because I have been furnishing places every time I moved and trying to make them look pretty, but I haven't really done any renovation work per se. I just had a lot of trouble visualizing what all of my furniture would look like in the new space. After a lot of research online trying to find a way for me to visualize what every thing would look in the new space, right? All of my furniture, because I was going to spend some money on renovations, but surely I wasn't going to spend money on uh, furniture. I already have so much here. I ended up finding the perfect designer tool. So the tool I found is called Planner 5D. I was able to design the place from scratch and then adding all of my furniture. If you want to learn how to use it, I decided to record that experience. So I have all of my screen recordings and I'm just gonna share them with you and comment on what I did and how I did it. Hopefully that way you can replicate the same process for your own space. Planner 5D has a free trial and then different plans that you can choose from, whether or not you're an individual or you actually wanna use it as a professional designer. After the free trial, I was completely blown away by how easy it was for me to visualize everything in the new space. And I decided to make a series out of it. So this first video is going to be how to visualize all of your existing furniture in a new space. The next video is probably gonna be even more interesting because it'll be how I would have transformed the entire space with all of the renovations I had in mind that are renter friendly-ish. And then the third video will be how to design the garden, the backyard, because I mean, again, the potential was just huge. If that's something that you wanna watch, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the other videos. I also do a lot of sewing, DIY, organization content. So if that's something that interests you, I would love to have you here. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell, and let me know in the, in the comments if you have tried Planner 5D, if you want to try it for your own space, I would love to know. Let's get started. We are in my dashboard in Planner 5D and you can start a project from scratch and literally draw all the walls or you can use a template. So here, as an example, I am using a bedroom template. It's gonna give me a square bedroom with a bunch of furniture already in it. So that's an option that you can have, that you can use, but in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a bedroom from scratch. You have different views. You can use the rulers, what background you want to use. I'm just gonna stick with the white background for now. One thing to note is that I did not have the precise dimensions for each room, but uh, when I visited, I took a bunch of pictures and I used them as reference to be able to get, you know, approximate dimensions. So I was looking at one wall, I saw a door. I know the door kind of medium size is 36 inches wide. So if I could fit approximately four doors on that wall, then it would give me the length uh, of the wall. So that's how I was able to draw each wall and then all the windows, all the doors, and basically recreate the layout of the apartment. Now, very quickly, I realized what the best thing about this designer tool is, is that for each element that you want to recreate, whether it's a window, a door, an arch, and then same for all of the furniture, you have access to this database and you basically select an element that is already designed, everything is already pre-made, and you can adjust its dimensions, its colors, its material, very, very easily, you just replicate all of the elements in your space. I think what makes the most sense is, of course, start by 
drawing all the walls and once you're done with that you add all of the doors and all of the windows and as I said you can literally adjust the dimension the color the height of the windows the navigation is very intuitive really I didn't have to look for anything for more than a few seconds for each of the elements I was trying to replicate on the left side of the screen you get all of the options that you need to adjust each element super quickly between the interface itself with all of the options right there every time you click an element and switching from the 2d view to the 3d view as you can see on the top of the screen there is a little button that allows you to switch from one to the other it just makes it so easy I mean I had never used the tool and in a matter of a couple hours I had everything designed which is incredible I could not wait to see what it would look like with my furniture in the space so before I even redesigned the kitchen I just had to start placing furniture around and this is where it became really it felt like magic because in their database they basically have a good number of examples to choose from so it's not so many that it's completely overwhelming and not so little that you can't really find something that looks like your furniture and basically the furniture that they have are very commonly used basic and not so basic furniture a lot of ikea furniture for instance i could find in the database which in my case is extremely useful because a lot of my furniture is from Ikea. Honestly, for almost all of the piece of furniture that I own, I could find a replica that looked almost the same, if not exactly the same as my own. And the dimensions of the furniture were actually matching my existing furniture, so I didn't even have to to adjust that much at all. So depending on which element you're working on, you can change the color for instance for the bed I was able to select fabric that matched my existing bedding which is really awesome you can also very easily duplicate an element so I had to create four chairs once I was happy with the first chair I duplicated it and created all four chairs and then you can group the elements together so if you want to move the furniture around to see where it would look best you can group all four chairs and the table and move that group of elements around which is super convenient after playing around with a few furniture I decided to finish the original design the way the apartment currently is with the existing kitchen so for the kitchen appliances and the kitchen cabinets you have a bunch of elements same principle you just select from the database and you can adjust the size and you already know the drill. Now this apartment is a duplex apartment and so to create the staircase there is a Q&A section and it's very well explained but you can create different floors so here I'm on the main floor view and switching from the main floor to the basement that I had also designed and then I created the opening for the staircase so you have to think of it like a box in order for the staircase to be created you kind of have to open the ceiling of the lower floor and open the floor of the upper floor that makes sense so then once you create that opening the staircase can just flow through so I'm just going to show you a very sped up screen recording for when I created the lower floor and you can see that you can switch the flooring type and color material and you can see how quickly even though this is very sped up I was able to create the entire room, the windows, the bathroom, the flooring, all of my furniture and the idea for the lower floor was to have a separation between the work zone and a bedroom. So on the left side of the basement there is my existing cutting table. I was really really blown away because my cutting table is a piece that I created myself. I assembled two Calex units from Ikea and I screwed a tabletop to have this huge cutting table on wheels and if you want to see how I 
built this furniture, you can actually check my short. But it just so happens that Planner 5D had the Calyx unit on casters. So I literally just put two Calyx units right next to each other and grouped them and it created my cutting table. So that was amazing. I also have a mannequin for my sewing projects. And so funny enough, I found a mannequin that I could use so I could find a home for it in the new space. Really, this whole exercise was to be able to visualize all of the furniture I currently own and if it would fit in a completely different layout, completely new space, a uh, different space, and it did. In this video, I'm again only, I'm only replicating the existing apartment and in the next video, I will work on improving its design and see what's feasible, what's not feasible, change maybe the paint, the cabinets in the kitchen, install cabinets under the staircase because these are not currently there. There is nothing under the current staircase. Create the separation wall between the bedroom area and the work area. So all of this will be detailed in the next video. The basement really feels like a, a regular floor almost because the windows are regular window sized. They have sort of a space in front of the basement window. You get basically a full view uh, of the outside with full sized windows and the apartment is facing south. So all windows are facing south, which really allows for a ton of natural light, which was a huge bonus. Here on the left, there is a hallway at the lower level. Here, basically, this is a hallway, so it actually is not aligned on the left side. This side is facing the garden. So on the garden facing side, actually the facade should align here and it doesn't because my plan isn't perfect. On the right side also here, it should align, but it doesn't. It's okay. This is just um, for me to show you how I want to now visualize what upgrades I would make in this space. So don't mind the discrepancy here. One thing to note, you might be wondering what is this round bed in the middle of the living room that is super weird. And the reason it's there is because in my current living room setup, I actually don't have a couch and a coffee table. I have a lounge area that is made of two bed mattresses. We call it a cuddle puddle and it's a lot of fun. It's extremely comfortable. It is the perfect setup to watch a movie. I would keep my existing living room set up in the new space. The one thing Planner 5D did not have is a mattress without a bed frame, funny enough. So for me to remember that this was not just any bed, I just picked a round bed. So now comes the best part, the visualization of the space. So you have this option to do a 360 panorama or you can place sort of cameras where you want them and then it will render the design on the different camera views that you set up. So that is extremely useful because after my first rendering, I was able to see I had a hole on my wall. Uh, so I needed to adjust that. But I think the cool thing I can do now is do a comparison between the pictures I took of the space and the renderings. Now these renderings are actually the 360 panorama view because the actual camera renderings sh showed all of the mistakes I made during the design and it wasn't the focus here. Really it was about get an idea of the existing space, visualizing my furniture in it. I truly feel like the layout is the most important thing in design, whether it's the apartment layout or the furniture layout. And this exercise allowed me to just check that. Let me know if you think this was a good way to do that and stay tuned for the next videos where I will have proper renderings this time with what the apartment would look like post rental friendly renovations along with the other video on designing the garden. See you in the next one.